the WordPress plugin options for 2020 using this website. Um, it's a plugin that allows you to easily customize various elements of the default theme 2020. So once you've installed the plugin and activated it, um, when you go to customize, you will find that there are several sections with a little flower icon that will uh, denote sections that you can customize. So straight away, what we're going to do is we're going to take away the underlines from these um, links and that's under general options and we just tick that remove link underlines box um, then in the nav options uh, we're going to change this um, title we've got some HTML that we're going to use to change that um, and we're going to increase the font size and decrease the font weight um, we also want to hide this description because it's duplicated and the actual f font case of the links in the navigation um, we're going to change to lowercase uh, the font size we're just going to increase that slightly and the font color we've got a hex code but you can use the the color picker there we're also going to use um, that color for the background of the sub menus so just do paste that in there and now that's nice and orange too um, now from the mobile menu we're going to change the icon to be the hamburger icon rather than the ellipses and we want to hide that toggle text as well under the icon there um, we also want to animate the close menu icon that's a premium option so that when you are in the mobile menu or the expanded menu that little icon animates okay sticking with um, premium options we're going to um, have a sticky mobile menu using the little button so um, when you scroll down this hamburger menu stays where it is um, and we're going to uh, animate that and create a drop shadow so when you scroll down you have a nice little drop shadow animation on that button now for the desktop version we're going to have a sticky menu bar again with the drop shadow and the animation that looks quite nice now when you scroll okay on to header options so uh, the header title here we want that to be um, lowercase it's done and the font weight we're just going to bring font size rather we're just going to bring that down the t color of that again we've got a hex code we're going to put in there and the font weight we're just going to reduce that as well that's nicer okay moving on content options uh, the width we're going to bring the width of the content up that's better and the content link color although it's not shown on this page we're going to just change that to the same orange 
Okay, that's good. So moving on to footer options. Let's see the footer down there. So um, on pages where the content isn't enough to push the footer down, um, we're going to push, force it to keep the footer at the bottom. And we're going to choose a uh, footer link color. Again, we're going to have that orange. And we're going to center um, the footer widgets. And we're going to hide the actual site footer, which is which is um, this bit at the bottom because it's duplicating the text we've got up there. Um, now we only want one footer sidebar. Right, that's starting to look a bit better now. And then finally, uh, we've got this nice little option under colors where you can choose the hue of your primary color, uh, your custom color with a, a color picker, normal hex color picker. We're going to use this same um, orange, um, which uh, allows you to put in an exact color for this um, uh, for this slider here, um, which you get with a the default theme. So let's publish that. And go back to the site. And there you go. That looks a lot different. Okay, cheers.